guys, today we're having a look at another design tool and this time it's Design Cap. The tool is in many ways similar to other tools I've already reviewed on my channel such as Canva, Crello, even Adobe Spark and you essentially get a bunch of templates you can choose from or you can select your own custom size to create the content that you want. I am just going to go with a flyer and the good part about these tools is that they have a similar design so you might already know how to use the tool if you are familiar with other software options such as Canva or Crello. But one reason why you might want to test out some other tools is for slightly different functionalities and for the templates that you get. Each tool you test out has different templates you can choose from, free or paid ones. I am going to select for now this template, which is an invitation. And we'll just have a quick run through all of the features. For instance, you can add elements such as shapes and just simply click on any shape you want. Let's say I want to add a heart. The editor is very easy to use. I'm just going to change quickly the color, the opacity, make it smaller. And I'm just adding it here and that is it. You can also add lots of icons. I will just choose a simple banner for this design. Maybe this one. I'm going to again select a color. Then I'm going to my layers and I'm sending it backward so that it's under the text or I can just click on bottom and it's right there and I can just make it fit and I can just make it fit this text and of course from here you can work with it so that it's not as cluttered maybe remove an element anything you want and then you can also add photos and again you have a bunch of photos to choose from these are stock photos, so you can just simply use any of these. The ones without this gem icon are free, while the rest are paid, so you need one of the paid plans in Design Cap because with the free plan you have limited templates and stock media choices. Now for the uploads part, one thing that I do not like is that the free version only allows you to upload up to five images. So you will have to delete them when you're done with them so that you will have more space for new images. Then of course you've got lots of text options and this that I really like because I personally have difficulty in choosing different types of font pairings and format structures. So this is good if you want some inspiration. Then one thing that I like is the modules part. I haven't really noticed this in many tools. What this does is that you have basically a bunch of elements together which you can add to your design. Let me just show you this on a different design. So this here is a blank document and I want to first add some elements to it. I am going to add maybe these options, move them here. Then at the top, I want to add a timeline and maybe some statistics for getting people to actually look at my image and move these a bit around. Then go to background, select either one of these predefined backgrounds or a simple color or a gradient. And I'm just going to go with a lighter blue and you've got yourself a full image that you can just simply edit in terms of font, text color, icon color, anything you'd like. Now I definitely recommend you give this tool a try. I will leave a link for you in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and see you next time. Have a wonderful day.